No, that sounds better. Well. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is uh, Dino here on the Himalayan again uh, with Ed on a CRF Rally 300 and we are uh, just following a local, some local uh, lanes on the Trans Northern Trail which is just north of Scarborough so we're just uh, heading towards Raven Scar now. Um, just uh, have an afternoon on the trails and I just thought we'd uh, drop a video of, uh, of, of the route and just a bit of a chat on the way. Uh, the plan is today is to ride uh, Raven Scar and then up the Whitby Road. We're going to turn off at Boggle Hall. Uh, we're going to then drop down Boggle Hall um, into up into Filing uh, Filing Thorpe, not Filing Hall. I think it's Filing Thorpe. And then there's a little bit of some little lanes, little crags up around there, and then that'll take us um, up over towards Sneeton. So. Uh, So in Ravenscar, we just take this deviation. This is marked on the trail as a mm -hmm. uh, as a as a byway. Um, it's a nice little trail. This it's 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 part of the motor sea cycle run, but it is it is a legal trail. So we just respect respect the thing, you know. Don't come screaming down and I mean screaming down. You're know, spinning the wheels, just uh, plodding along and and uh, respect the you know, the surface, but. It's just a bit of a shortcut to to the road. Some good views as well on a clear day. Him is going very well at the moment. Uh, I've got an 18-inch rear wheel that I'm running now, with a slightly uh, lower-profile tyre, so it's a 110-80-18 on the back, which is quite a slim tyre, so it's more suited to enduro use. The reason I've gone for an 18 is because. Um, Tire price for 17s is ridiculous, and there was a, a chap on the internet who was selling an 18 wheel uh, for the Himalayan, complete with a stock hub and stainless spoke. So why not? I've also got a rim lock fitted as well, um, but this particular wheel will take a 120 90 18 tire, which I think I'll fit. That will put the real the the rear diameter of the wheel bigger than stock, so it may be that I have to drop a 14 tooth sprocket. Uh, down at the front, you know, if it's fine, or go maybe two up at the back, we'll see, we'll see what happens with that, might be cheaper just doing the front, but uh, just lubricated the steering bearings as well, so just, uh, well, grease nipple's really handy now, so a couple of shots on the grease gun, and you can see the grease coming out of the, the sail, and you can notice a difference as well, just by pumping that grease in, because um, I think cause there's not much move on the bearings, they, um, you know, you get lots of cupping on the races, so I think just putting a bit of fresh grease in there regularly just helps, uh, you know, restore the, the, the grease on the contact area. So we're turning off down into Boggle Hall, so this takes us down towards, it's actually a dead end, and there's a youth hostel at the bottom of here, which is really nice. Uh, and on there's low tide, you can park up and walk to Robinhood's Bay. Uh, lovely, uh, plenty of fossils as well down this neck of the woods. But we're going to not go that far we're going to just take a lane which breaks brings us into the sort of like south uh, east part of uh, filing hall robin's bay um, and then we're going to pick up uh, a couple of little trails um, just zigzag through a few farms and a few fields and 
the plan today is does not go too far. Just we get to Sneet and then uh, we get to Sneet and we're going to drop to the cycle, uh, sort of cycle of the Whistle Stop Cafe in Whitby and uh, just have a cup of tea and be right home. So that's it for me talking for now. Uh, I'll chip in a little bit more, but uh, enjoy the video. I know I did, it just, just locked on, just locked on. It was a bit, uh, yeah. No, I felt uh, it, it came, I think, I think if I'd have had, to be fair though, if I hadn't had the ABS off, I think I'd have been, I think the ABS would be served me then, maybe I could put it back in again, let's put it back. Yeah, it's not too bad down here then. Not too bad at all. Yeah, if you stick to the left. I think that's where the air go on then. It's still really fast, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, good to me. Ah, oh, it's nice and clean, back to anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully, my phone won't fall off here. We've got people looking at us, Ed. Is it alright with you? Unsuitable for voters. Right, are you going to go first? Could be a car crash for me. Unsuitable for motors. Well, we'll find out. Here we go, one way or another. What's up? This is definitely a, uh, an adventure in its own oh, way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, good, good. Very good, very good. Piece of piss. Give it some. Give it some on this car, are you? Oh, oh, that was so easy, man! <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh no, he's going to be there! A, la a lapse of constant. I think there's been a few people gone off there. That's a great little... That... Do you know, I, I made that hard work last time. I think, I think the key to it is just pace, isn't it? If you start fanning around going too slow and you're hesitant, you're just going to come to grief. That was great. Lovely view. Yeah, but, it's, yeah, but the thing is, it's right. It's bought, it's bought, it's bought, it's bought, it's bought, it's bought, it's bought. So this next uh, uh, green lane was tricky to follow uh, because on the map it's deceived and it looks like you actually go down the farm. So you turn off the Scarborough Whitby Road uh, and originally we went down into the farm and I think uh, people have got into bother um, in doing so because it's not very very clear at all where you're going but we've zoomed right in on the GPS and we've discovered that actually you don't even go as far as the farm into the drive, it's an immediate left. 
and judging by the state of the uh, the fields, I think here, I think there's been uh, quite a lot of dirt bikes which have uh, traversed over here in recent days. So uh, this is a new one for us, and uh, it was a bit soft. Uh, the ground was softer in places. Uh, not a great deal of tread left on my front TKC18. In fact, I think after this trip, this will be the last time I use a TKC80 I think I'll probably go on to something uh, maybe an MT21 or something like that like I've got on the back so yeah so we're heading now towards um, Sneeton um, and basically Russop that's, that's uh, our next uh, our next destination That's awesome. Yeah, here we go. I don't know, yeah, we do. We go straight on, and there's this weird gate, isn't they? Yeah, you've got to reverse. You've got to reverse into. It's like a pen, isn't it? It's like a pen that you go in. The only other, uh, unless, unless, you, unless you come down here and you open it, which way does it open? Does it come? If you open it, I'll squeeze, th I'll squeeze through and then let's just, ah, uh, it's like a, uh, right, let's have a, yeah, that's what you mean there. Uh, it's to stop um, probably Land Rovers, I reckon, and stuff. So the reality is, I'm on a Royal Enfield Himalayan, which isn't a dirt bike, but pretends it wants to be a dirt bike. I think what I might do here is just... I have to get off my bike. Fantastic. So yeah, the Himalayan is pretending now it's, it thinks it's a dirt bike. I think I might have done it before. It's definitely the way to do it. I'll let you go in front because it does get a bit gnarly down there. I might... Uh... This could be interesting. Funny of all those. Ends all right, it's my front tyre. I think, I think, I think you, uh, yeah, it is further. Yeah, I think that front tyre is just letting me down a bit at the moment. No, not at all. Yeah. Is it a good 
might have gone on to group in the com again, you know. Right, so if you wanna if you wanna you go through there and then I'll stop and I'll shut up. I'll shut up shop. Alright, if you get so far down and then well, you're on the lighter bike. I'll, I'll stall it here and just uh, just have a look at the lines, see what you think. This gate. <laughs> Was it with both gates on? Right, how's it looking? How's it looking? Right, well, I'm coming down right behind you. Yeah. This looks. This is a bit worrying, I've got to try and get pretty way. Yeah, the front tyre feels pretty shit. Hit the water yet? Right. I'm alright, okay. Right, I'm gonna go. I think it's not as bad as it was when we came down here before, you know this. Is it? Trench water. Ooh, this looks interesting. I think I. I that's right. That's what I'm doing now, going right. Oh dear, there's quite a quite a big gully down there. It's okay. We're down. And then into gully. Here you go. Yep. Oh yeah, she's muddy. She's definitely muddy. Ready? Hey up. Hey up, hey up. he's off. Bollocks kill. Bastard. Not enough gas. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We're okay. Yep, good. I think I'm alright. What I'll do, I hope I'm fucking neutral. Oh, bastard. Right, hang on. I'm in neutral. Let's go. Yep, going down. What I'll do, we don't fucking. Right. Let's get my breath. Woo! What I'd like to do. I don't know what I did there. Right. 
Engine start. Right. I don't know if it needs to be on pegs. Nice one, thanks, Ed. Whew. Pass it over to. So that's pretty much the end of today's ride. Hope you've uh, enjoyed the footage. A um, little bit of an off there, down in the back. Last time I did that, I came down momentarily. I didn't actually stop and I was on the pegs and just carried the momentum over the back and then blasted up the other side. So I think what happened there was a uh, standing start. I just didn't have enough, uh, enough power. And uh, I think I also hit a ball on the front wheel and that sort of like spooked me, uh, mm -hmm. sent, sent the front end off. So, um, so yeah, so all been well, uh, we're gonna, we're, I think in warmer weathers, uh, we're gonna carry this on. This is a very, very small section of the Trans Northern Trail. I mean, it's a massive trail. This is just literally local to us. Uh, but obviously it's formed up of legal, uh, green lanes, unclassified roads, etc. Um, but we're glad we've done it and uh, we can from here carry on up to um, Glaresdale, sorry, Gromont Glaresdale and then up towards Danby, and then up beyond on the Rudland Rig and so on, which we've done in other videos. So, hope you've enjoyed, uh, the, hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, uh, what, what else can I say? You know, great pair of bikes, great to be out, you know, on a weekend, you know, um, exploring. So, stay safe, folks. Um, look after yourselves and um, respect the trails and respect each other. Uh, catch you on the flip side.